good afternoon to all so in the previous two videos i have taught you uh, increasing decreasing functions then here is an approx a small recap so as usual i will do the recap the first one the previous two days back i have taught you the increasing decreasing functions i hope so all of them have seen my video second one i have taught you that errors and approx few sums i have left that i will teach you uh, separately next increasing decreasing function a small steps <clears throat> f of x f dash of x put equal to 0 you have to find the critical points draw the number line uh, next divide the intervals and find the increasing decreasing errors and approx Square root value to twenty five point five or hundred one hundred and one point four whatever it is whatever it may be the first find the x value then delta x f of x plus delta x formula then substitute differentiate find out the values so these two I have already completed and now I am starting the page number two not six in your textbook page number two not six the sub topic name is tangents and normals. So this one in the class eleven, you guys may have uh, studied in the chapter straight line tangents and normals. So these are the words you have listened in the straight line itself. So I this I am here to uh, to to insist a point is that in twenty twenty question paper nobody has expected that in this particular topic six marks will come, but in entire India. Uh, after seeing the math, after seeing the max question paper, the, the students got a shock that mm, they have expected in maximum minimum six mark will come, but in tangents and normals they have asked six mark. So in this particular chapter, all the concepts, especially tangents and normals, increasing and decreasing functions, maximum minima, these three are very very important. Don't leave anything. So now I will teach as usual. First I will teach the basics of tangents. What is tangent? What is normal? Then I will move on to the sum, which you already know. In the chapter straight line, first I will take tangents. What is meant by tangent? Just based on class ten portion, circles. It starts from circles and goes on to eleven straight line and it comes here class twelve tangent. So we are page number two not seven and I will take a small diagram. This is a two dimensional x axis, y axis. So this is negative. I will imagine a curve. So I will, I will go with the textbook. So there is a curve. Fix a point P, point A comma B, and fix a point Q. That may be some C comma D. If I draw a line, if I connect P and Q, this P Q is said to be secant. P Q is said to be class tenth portion, ninth chapter, ninth also you are learning secant. Suppose imagine a second diagram. In the second diagram. The point P and Q comes here. Suppose imagine Q comes here, and suppose imagine Q comes here, and suppose imagine Q comes at the point P and Q. It's very near. So, so this is said to be secant. And imagine Q shifted to here, shifted to here, shifted to here, and it merges. Therefore, the tangent is as follows. This is said to be secant. And the tangent, and the tangent is. As follows. So your curve. I have taken a curve in your textbook page number, page number two not seven. This point. Imagine this point is like I have taken as A. So the tangent is a line passes at one point. This is said to be a line of tangent and the slope. Whatever the whatever uh, wherever you are seeing a line as a slanting line. That to be slope in class eleven you have learned the slope is letter is m and this line is said to be tangent line of tangent and the line perpendicular to the tangent I will draw in a different color the line perpendicular to the tangent perpendicular to the tangent that is said to be your normal so they given in your textbook page number two not seven very clearly I will define one more time. The line passes through the curve at only one point. That is said to be tangent, line of tangent, and m is said to be slope. M is they have been class level itself. They have we already studied m equal to slope. Slope letter is m. 
and the tangent, the line perpendicular to the tangent is said to be normal. In, in three dimensional geometry in class 12, say the separate letter for normal n cap, n vector that will, that we will see in the letter. So this is a small introduction for uh, tangents and normals. Next, I will teach some of the concepts based on class 11. Class 11 basics. What are the things you have learned in the class 11? For example, M, the word slope. And what are the formulas you have learned in class 11? M can be written as tan theta. If theta equal to 0, and theta equal to 90, there are two parts. If theta equal to 0, what is meant by that? If theta equal to 90 degree, what is meant by that? If theta equal to 0 degree, 0 degree na, thus there is the tangent is parallel to x axis. If theta equal to 90, the tangent is parallel to y axis. So, I will define one more time. M equal to slope. M otherwise can, can be written as tan theta. If theta equal to 0, the tangent is parallel to parallel parallel to which axis? X axis. If theta equal to 90, it is parallel it is parallel to y axis. Your textbook they are given very clearly. And class 11, one more basis you have learned the product of the two slopes m1, m2 will be minus 1. Or sometimes the, the teachers will pronounce as m, m2 equal to minus 1. So one slope, if you know now, the other slope can be found as minus 1 upon m2. These are all the things you have learned in class 11. One more thing also you have learned in the class 11. Equation of a line if slope is given. That is, in class 11, the important point is y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. So, x and y is a point of, you all please take a class 11 textbook. It is very clearly explained or you want more explanation in class 11 or in class 12. Class 12 also, they may be given in class 12 textbook, page number 207. They are given you very clearly about the equation of this one. Equation. This is when m is given and the point is slope and the point is given now. How to find the equation of a line. In class 12, this may be explained as equation of a tangent. M should be in differentiation because this topic is application of derivatives. So therefore, in class 12, in place of m, we can use tan theta r we can use m equal to dy by dx. Change in y with respect to x. If x changes, y also changes. If in this line x changes, y also, y axis also will be changing. So, now, in this in this particular subtopic, tangent, one more time I am revising everything, then I will move on to inside the topic. Tangent, the line passes through the curved one point, line of tangent, but m is said to be slope. Slope is a slanting line and the tangent line perpendicular to the tangent is said to be normal. N cap, N vector, in the vector analysis or three dimensional geometry. Class 11 basics. M is said to be slope. A formula is tan theta. If theta equal to 0, the tangent is parallel to x axis. If theta equal to 90, the tangent is parallel to y axis. Tan 90 is infinite. Infinite can be written as 1 upon 0. Please keep in your eye. Keep your mind, tan, tan 19 are infinite. Infinite can be written as 1 upon 0. Infinite can be written as 1 upon 0, which should be useful for you. Next, product of the two slope is negative 1, which you have a proof in class 11 textbook. One slope, if you know now, the other slope can be found this one. And in 11, you have, in class 11, if slope and the point passing to the point is given now, y minus y1 equal to m times x minus x1, where m is a slope. X1, X1 is a point, a point passing through that. And XY, the point. So please check your class 11. These are all 11th portions. And 12, slope can also be found as change in Y with respect to X. So M equal to DY by DX. These are all, if suppose slope this one, uh, what is the normal in class 12, class 11 itself. Slope is what DY by DX na normal. So in class 11 itself, you have learned normal now. Minus 1 upon dy by dx. How it acts? This is from this one. If one is dy by dx na, the other one is, other one is, if m2 is dy by dx na, 
m equal to minus 1 upon dy by dx. There is a link between class 11 and 12. So I will wind up with this one. These are the basics. And then I'll start with the sum. So I'll go, I'll go inside the sum for the slope and the normal. <coughs> Tangent and the normal using slope everything. So I'll go with the textbook, page number 207, example number 14, 207, example number, page number 207, example number 14, that is, find the slope of a tangent, y equal to x cube minus x, x cube minus x at x equal to 2, at x equal to 2. So, we have to find out the slope. So, we have to find out the slope. I will find out extra normal. I will find out extra normal. Then I will find out the equation of tangent. In single sum, I will complete everything. Then equation of normal. Everything I will complete in a single sum. It will be easy for you to do the exercise also. The first one. Y equal to x cube minus x. Slope. So, Slope, what I told you, the slope, slope letter is M. M can be found as tan theta. M can also be found as dy by dx. Normal. Normal can be found as minus 1 upon dy by dx. Now we'll move on to this one. So normal differentiation only. You guys, every, everybody know the differentiation. Just differentiate, that's it. So x cube minus x. Now differentiate, that is dy by dx equal to x cube differentiation you will get 3x square minus x differentiate for now 1 this is your dy by dx but they given you the point don't forget that so dy by dx at the point x equal to 2 this is very important step so in dy by dx wherever x comes I have to put x equal to 2 therefore 3 times 2 square minus 1 so I'll get 4 3s are 12, 12 minus 1, 11. So this is your slope. So this is equal to dy by dx. You have to solve this is your slope. What about the normal? So the, so this is your slope. Normal, what I told you, normal now minus 1 upon dy by dx. Upon a minus 1 upon 11 is your normal. Step 1. So I'll, I will circle down. Step 1 is slope, step 2 is normal. Now, I will find out equation of a tangent. So, equation of a tangent, equation of, of tangent, that is y minus y1 equal to m times x minus x1. y minus y1 equal to m, dy by dx, x minus x1. Now, there is a, there is a flaw in that. What is x1, y1? dy by dx, you know that. dy by dx is 11. But what is x1, y1? x1, they given the point 2. What about the y1? So y1, I don't know. Now, go back and substitute. Go back. Go back and substitute. So you get x equal to 2. Substitute x equal to 2. So how to find the value? So x equal to 2 y equal to x cube minus x. So, y equal to 2 cube minus 2. So, y equal to 8 minus 2 equal to 6. So, 2 cube, 8 minus 2, 6. Therefore, the points, therefore, x1 comma y1 is equal to x1 on the value 2, y1 on the value 6. This is how you have to find out the x1, y1 value. Substitute in the quotient mm -hmm. itself. Therefore, finally, y y minus y 1 6 dy by dx 11 x minus x1 value 2 simplify everything you'll get simplify now y minus 6 equal to 11 x minus 22 the final answer 11 x minus y equal to 6 minus 20 11 x 11 x minus y equal to, we will get 22 minus 6. 
for the final answer 11x minus y is equal to 16 this is your equation of a tangent I repeat one more time differentiate one time substitute the point which is given find out the dy by dx is just a slope normal is formula minus 1 upon dy by dx it's minus 1 upon 11 easy way formula formula I will circle down as usual substitute m for dy by dx you know he doesn't know x1 y1 value to find the x1 y1 value x1 they given the question itself substitute in the question you will get the y1 value substitute merely this is said to be equation of a tangent now as I told earlier what is equation of a normal I think I can wipe out equation of a normal same concept equation of a normal so equation of a normal formula alone will change what's the formula minus 1 upon dy upon dx x minus x1 y minus y1 value 6 minus 1 upon 11 times x minus 2 now cross simplification cross multiply 11y minus 66 equal to minus x plus 2 now rearrange the equations x plus 11y equal to 2 plus 66 so x plus 11y equal to 68 this is equation of equation of equation of normal minus 1 by dy by dx I'll, I'll, I'll meet you in the next video about that I'll start few more examples based on this wait for the next video thank you